Hi Barrows, family and boys and girls. Today we're going to revisit the paper plate and let's see if you can guess what I'm going to make. The first thing I'm going to do is cut I've got two plates here. I'm going to, I'm going to cut across my plate right across the middle now, I bought really cheap plates and they're perfect they're perfect for this I'm gonna move the camera down I'm gonna say goodbye to you for a few minutes but I'm, you, you can look at me here okay here's the plate so I'm gonna cut to to this spot right here Do you see that okay now I'm going to start I'm gonna start at this end and I'm gonna cut from here all the way back over to here. So here goes. I got that? Now I'm going to make Going, this is the letter C. We start at the top and we finish at the bottom. Right here. So watch. Let's see if you can see that or not. Not really, it's too light, so. I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to cut that out. Yeah. Okay, and I'm actually going to cut it a little higher than that because... If you haven't figured it out yet, this is going to be a swan. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a beak on him. What does a beak look like on a swan? Well, I actually made a swan out of wood. And maybe I'll, maybe if I can find a picture of that in my digital portfolio. And you can see it if you go to my uh, website. But in any case, let's put... Let's put a beak on this. I'm gonna come over here to my, you know, I have one of these in the classroom, all right? Especially, there's two reasons to take care of your supplies now. One of them is you don't wanna to go to the store. Even if you have the money to buy supplies, you don't wanna to go to the store, you wanna stay home. So, can you see what I've got going on here? This is gonna be the head and I am going to make a nose that has a bump on the end and it comes back has another bump on the bottom and then it comes back now I know that because I looked at many pictures of swans and I know what their beaks look like so I'm going to cut that out And I think, I think I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna cut a little sliver. I'm gonna cut a little sliver out. Now, my beak opens up. So, let's put the beak. Now for my, you know how I always say, who's smart? Who's smart in my class and all those hands go up? Are we gonna glue? the mouth are we going to glue the mouth on top or are we going to glue it behind and the correct answer is behind so take our glue stick this time I'm going to put it put it on the paper where it's going to go okay 
going to take a look at it from my view. I want to make sure I've, I've got it going the way I want. Okay. Nice thing about this glue is it dries clear. Everybody see that? That look like doesn't that look like the beginning of a bird? And he's he's almost touching his back tails with his mouth. And I'm not sure I like that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to trim this a little bit more. And wow, look at this! Watch this! I just had a good idea. How about if I curve this? How about if I curve this up like the back of a swan? And once again, boys and girls, I know this because I've because I learned by doing another swan somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, look at that curve, isn't that nice? There it is, can you see it? Look at that, You got it. we did a swan. We did a swan in how many minutes? Now, what does it need? Well, I'm gonna fix this curve a little bit too. Let me see, yeah, I gotta fix that curve. I'm gonna have this go like this, and I'm gonna have the curve. Now maybe I should have drawn it first, rather than just trying to cut it out with the scissors, but let's see if I can do it. Yeah, that's better. I like the curve when it's a little bit closer to this part of the neck. But look at that. Isn't that fun? Now, I'm going to make feet for it. I'm going to make an eye for it. And a wing. The wing is this piece that we cut out. That's going to be our wing. We're going to take the wing and we're going to put it, I think, right here. I have to cut the curve to match the uh, curve that I just cut. So let's do that. I'm going to put this on the ground and I'm going to trace that curve. Can you see me? I just traced that. I just copied that curve. And now I'm going to cut that out. Okay, now I want to attach that to here and I want to bend it out. So I'm going to make a little bit of a flap. Now for those people who remember, I'm going to make, let's see if we can remember this. I'm going to make little tiny tabs because otherwise I can't bend that. You'll see what I mean. Which one, one, which one of my second grade, you know, Zoe, I know you remember this. Oh, I can think of so many of you that know this. In my mind, this time I'm putting all the glue on these. Okay, so boys and girls, we're going to take and put all the glue on one side. And those are all tabs. These all move. All of these move. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to stick it on top of the wing, on top of the body. And I'm going to fold them all like this. Uh, that's the way to do it. How easy. You don't need help anymore. You don't need help anymore. And I hope everybody just learned that I just learned something. Hello. Okay. And I always do. I hope. Now look. Let's let that dry for a second. I can lift this wing up anytime I want. Look at that. Can you see that wing lifting up? Now, what, that was harder than I thought. It was harder than I thought. But I figured out how to glue it. Let me close my glue. Put that over there. Let's bend this wing up. Just like that. Okay. Now that wing could be colored and decorated and you could put feathers on it. But I'm going to put the eye on. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at Mr. Melchior did. Mr. Melchior did it wrong. Put the wing on the wrong side. Quick fix. Don't, don't anybody, I might edit that out of the video. Okay, but I'm really not going to edit that out because I make mistakes all the time. Just ask any other teacher that knows me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Okay, so look. All right. Okay, now we're going to put an eye on. So I think for the eye, we've got a bunch of choices. Colored paper. Marker. Who wants to go with a marker? I always have my marker students, so... I am going to draw an oval that goes back like that. 
I almost want to give, I don't know why I always want to put eyelashes, but now I'm going to draw the eyeball. That's the shape of the outside of the eye. I'm just going to color that in a little bit. All right. Yeah, I decided to color in around the white spot. And now I'm just going to put a little tiny black spot on the white spot. I don't know why I did that. But that's my eye. All right. Now we have a swan. I think I think the only thing left for me to do today is to turn it over to you to figure out how to make your swan different from everybody else's. Do you want a unicorn swan? There's an idea. I see a lot of unicorns, but I still need to make orange feet. So I'm going to put this down here. Now, where's my smart ones? Who's the smartest in the class? Tell me why I folded the paper. How many feet am I making? Two, yes. And they're like paddles. Do you know what a paddle looks like? I have a little leg that comes down. Then it goes like this, like this, like this, and then back up. All right. Now, Something like that is what I'm looking for. Because those are going to be like the things, flippers, like you put on your feet when you go snorkeling or swimming in the ocean or in the bay or in the river. But anyway, let me cut this out. Nice and careful. Take your time. Okay. So far, so good. There it is. So far, let me see. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to cut out those toes that I made. And that's going to be tricky. And I don't, I'm just going to do the best I can. Just turn the scissors or turn the paper. The scissors stay still. Paper turns. You know that rule. All right, let's see what I got. Now I take them apart. Oh, they're still connected. So I'm going to just cut that. All right. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. It's gonna be good. There it is. Took me a minute to think about where I was gonna put these. Yeah, I'm still thinking. Still thinking. Okay, I'm going to just draw some pencil lines on this one because I have pencil lines on the other one and I actually like them. I'm going to draw that and that and that so they look alike. A little bit of a line up here. All right, so I have decided the feet are kind of in the back of the body like this. And I haven't decided whether I want to put it like this. I think one on the front. And I think one on the back, one a little bit behind the other. Look at that. That's not bad. All right. So let me get that glued down. I'll glue the one in the front first. Now this time, this time, there's my first foot, I will paddle, and then the next one wants to go just a little bit behind that one. So I'm going to put that face down. This time I'm going to put the glue on the face. You know how I always like to practice? I always like to see where things go before I glue. All right, let's look at, let's have you help me. I like it. I'm going to glue it down. It's pretty close to being right on top of the other one. I'll hold it with my fingers for a minute. Okay, so we have a swan. Now, when I was making this, I'm looking at that wing and I'm going, let me see what, how these legs feet look. This one wants to be a little bit lower. This 
just want to move that one just a little bit different. The glue is still wet, so it's not too hard. Yeah, I want to get a space between the flippers. I think it'll look better. Yeah, there it is. Okay, see that? That looks better. Okay. So you try things. Just try things. All right. Now, I'd like to make this part go away. So I am going to do a trick. I am going to cut a curve out of that and put it back on. So if it's curved, it might look like, I think the curve wants to go this way. It might look like it's underneath some feathers. I don't know if it will or it won't, but we'll see. No, I'm not, I'm not feeling that. In my mind, it tells me I want to take a piece of white paper, make a feather, and I want to do something like this. I don't know why, but I want to make this go over that. So it looks like, because it does. In, I remember making one of these. See what I did there? I, I put like a little wing over the, the, the foot to make it look like it's coming out of the, the body. Yeah. Now, boys and girls, this is your challenge. What can you do to make this, what can you do to make this yours? You can use different colors. You can color in each of these, each of these. You can, you can do whatever you'd like. And I did hang my, my seagull. Uh, no, what did, I, my, what did I hang? My dove. I, hang the dove. I hung the dove that we made in my house. And I could put a little string on this and hang this. It could turn. It's not too bad from the back. Uh, maybe some of this needs to be done. If I was going to make it a mobile, that means it would turn. I think I'd put another wing on this side. And that wouldn't be hard to do. That wouldn't be hard to do. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang this one, putting a little bit of tape right behind the back here and just stick this right to the wall. All right? So, boys and girls, that's a, that's a project worth doing for a few minutes. Yeah, I like it. I hope you do. So have fun. And let me move this back up. And let me say once again, do the best you can. There's no right and there's no wrong. If you decide that you want to color the, the swan on the plate, then go ahead and do that. And then the next time, try something a little harder. Each time, try something a little harder. All right, so here's Mr. Melchior signing off for the weekend. Uh, enjoy yourselves and stay safe. Bye now.